Right, so in this video I'm just going to go through a couple of things that's bugging me that's um, about this particular page and uh, I'm not quite happy with. Before I move on, I want to fix them. I'm just going to show you a quick uh, few tips that might be useful for you in the future anyway. So, first things first, um, the hyperlinks. You can see that the, you know, the, the colours aren't so suitable. You can't tell what it is. So, the best way to do that is if you click anywhere in the page and go to Page, pro page Properties, and you go to links CSS here on the left hand side and you can choose the link color the original color and once you've clicked it so I'm going to choose the the uh, link color to be white and the visited color to be this color here and I press apply and press OK and you'll see that it just makes it a bit easier to see and it's a bit more consistent as well now it goes without saying that I have to go through each one here and do the same thing right click so we click it once page properties same thing links change the color and then visit the color there apply okay and just that just do that all the way through basically uh, every single page just to keep the consistency you don't want to lose marks for something as simple as this and it does make a huge difference and I'll show you how it looks in just a moment so I've done oh, I forgot one thing unless my mouse is just frozen let's have a look ah that's why um, let me undo. Go back in. There we go. It's link CSS. I even forgot that myself for a second. There we go. Press OK. Done. So that one's done. This one is done. Features page is done. Dren, okay, click on there. Page CSS links. Starts colors that. Visited colors that. Press up, okay. And the last one. Background page. Link CSS. And color white. And that one there. That's okay. Save. And now all I have to do is just give this a quick test, so preview in Chrome. And then you'll see that the colors should be suitable for what we said it was going to be. Um, oh yes, what I haven't done is saved every single page. So save, save save so we must save every single page because it, the changes are obviously separate there we go so you can see the colors are showing now and you can read them a little bit better although what has confused me is it seems to be reversed so what I'm going to do even though it's white here and this is why it's worth testing everything is I'm going to reverse it the other way around actually since it's doing it that way around anyway. So I'm going to do that to be white and this to be this. And press apply, press OK. Now it looks like it's that color there, which is strange. But when I go on here, OK, fair enough. So it's still the way around for some reason, even though it shows here that first on here, it's white. And I prefer this before, because if I click that, you'll just, you see it's white. So um, yeah, just make sure you got the order right. And again, this is another reason why it's so important to uh, test everything before you move on to the next section. Okay, so make sure you check the colors and um, be happy with them before you move on. Okay, and the last thing I want to do with this page is I don't like the way this looks here. So I'm going to split this up. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to split this table. Two rows, that's fine. And I'm going to put this here, cut that out and put it in here. But I'm going to have this to the left. Oops, moved everything on here. Move that to the left. Okay. I wonder if I select, if I select all this. Right, okay. So it seems as though. That does the whole page, which I wouldn't mind. 
So what I might do is create a new CSS style here. And I want to call it left for now, to keep it simple. And I want it to go to the left, so I wonder if it's here. No, it's not. It is not. Which is annoying. Cancel. Um, I wonder if I make it all to the left first, and then here. Go to the left here, and then... No, it won't work, unfortunately. Right, okay, so... You have to make some kind of compromise here. So I may have to put everything in center, but then it makes everything go to the center. So what I'll have to do... For some reason, it's not moving out. There we go. Um, it's just bugging me that it's not really neat here. So what we may have to do is go later on looking at the fine tuning of the web page, of each web page. I may have to think about um, moving some of these things around. So I might just put this over here and then have a space here for an image or something like that. So, oops, oops, there we go. Perfect, okay, so I'm happy with that. For now anyway, until we get to see the next task. So that's fine, that's centered, save, and make sure this is exactly how I want it. There we go. Okay, so we can see that the alignment here matches this here, straight. Okay, so small little things like that always makes a difference, so just keep your eye out for it.